Today I wanted to talk about superpowers and why they're important for founders, for engineers, for entrepreneurs, inventors. They're important for investors. They're important for people on your team. They're important for people that, whose team you join. Everybody needs a superpower. Every organization needs a superpower. Uh, and I just wanted to talk about why that's important in carbon removal. Uh, the, the reason it's important is because we have to build an industry to get to gigaton scale carbon removal. If this was as simple as, you know, we need one company that's going to be able to do 10 gigatons of carbon dioxide removal per year, then maybe we don't need superpowers. What we really need are like somebody who's really stretchy or some organization that's just so stretchy they can cover it all. They can cover every single capture, storage, product, marketplace, measurement and verification. They do it all. The challenge is that model doesn't work. We need to build an incredibly big industry to pull 10 gigatons of carbon dioxide from the air, and probably a lot more than that. That's where superpowers come in. That's where we need somebody, some organization, some person, some group to be really good at capturing carbon. We need somebody else to get really good at storage. We need somebody else to get really good at products. We need somebody else to get really good at measurement and verification and marketplaces and all those other pieces. The challenge is, I think in the early stages of this industry, it's tempting to say that you have it all covered. And I get it. I get why that's, why that's important. Sometimes in, in conversations you want to say, look, we've got this all, this all figured out. But the challenge is, long term, that's not how it's going to work. Long term, somebody's going to get it storage, somebody's going to get it capture, somebody's going to get it product, measurement, verification. So those superpowers are really important to embrace. If you're coming out of a science lab and you have a great sorbent, that's super powerful. That's your superpower. So does your company need to build a, build a marketplace to sell carbon? Not really. It's going to be really hard to, to succeed at that. Um, and that's where, these, that's where figuring out what your superpower is is, is so key. Uh, this is clearly harder than it, harder than it looks. I think for, for air miners, we're going through kind of a lot of this superpower awareness ourselves, which is like, what is the thing that air miners is really great at? And do we have the courage to just get really good at that thing and, and not so much some other stuff? And so I'll have some more updates on that, on that later to get more, uh, to get more specific. But just speaking from my own personal experience, this is, this is hard. Focusing on your superpower, figuring out what your superpower is, seeing superpowers in others. These are all skills that we as an industry need to get really good at. Uh, whether that's, whether you're an investor, you need to know what, what stage of investment are you good at? What type of company are you really great at? You're an inventor, what type of invention, what type of thing are you going to build uh, that, that really does make, make that difference? Uh, are you a team builder person, right? Like what, what team are you going to are you going to build and you're going to kind of stay out of the invention part and you're going to stay out of the, the, uh, the investment part. So all those things, uh, you know, comes down to figuring out what your superpower is and embracing it. And it's, it's harder than it looks, but I think that it's something that's really important. Uh, even, even if it's just internal, even if it's just for your own, in your own head, you're like, you know, you're a, you're a uh, solo founder working on an idea and you know that your superpower is this, this like, new uh, soil measurement technology that you've worked out. But in your pitch deck, you need to say, okay, we're not just going to be a soil measurement technology. We're also going to have a, a marketplace where we sell carbon that's verified by our, uh, by our uh, soil measurement technology. Super tempting. And, and I get it. I get why you might want to go out and, and share that story. Um, but as long as you know what the superpower is, you're, you know really well what your company is good at, that's a good place to start. I think the challenge is with, with selling those bigger stories is it, can, it seems like it can make things easier, but I've been in a company where uh, it, it didn't make things easier. We kind of had this story that our superpower was that we had done this thing. And the reality was that we actually hadn't done the thing. Our superpower was that we, we actually had a shot at, uh, at making the thing happen. We hadn't actually done it. But the story got out that our superpower was that we had done the thing. And the effect on this team was, was, uh, was transformationally bad. The team started to think that they had done the thing and that we didn't need to do the thing anymore. So these narratives, these superpowers can, can uh, you know, they, they matter for your team. 
they matter for the industry. And so, uh, to me, it comes back to for, for everybody who's, who's in this industry, whether you're a designer, an engineer, an entrepreneur, an investor, uh, a business manager, or you think of yourself as, a, as an organization, what is your superpower? I think it works at a, it's, it's important at an individual level. What's the thing that you're really good at? It's important at an organizational level. What's the thing that your company is really good at? The company that you work at, the company that you're investing in, what is it uh, really good at? Uh, and then similarly to the carbon removal industry, I think there's a lot of hard questions that, that the carbon removal industry needs to ask around what is the superpower of the carbon removal industry? What is the superpower that only this industry can do that nobody else can? It's easy to say, yeah, it's pulling carbon dioxide molecules from the atmosphere. That's probably, that's probably what the superpower is. But I think it's worth going back to what is the superpower of our industry? Here's the Stanford dish. It has a clear superpower. Its superpower is it picks up radio waves from all throughout the, the galaxy and the universe. It doesn't do any of the computation. It doesn't do any of the analysis. It doesn't do any other radio stations. <laughs> it just does this and it does it really well. And that's what having a superpower is in carbon removal is figuring out what you're really good at and figuring out if you can have the courage to work with other people and to recognize their superpowers so that we can build a gigaton scale carbon removal industry. On that note, uh, we have our last batch of our latest batch of Airminers Launchpad Accelerator applications closing on Thursday, uh, March 31st. So check out uh, launchpad.airminers.org. Uh, I'll have a link in below the video. Uh, and check that out if you're, if you're at the stage where you're an early stage company, you've got an idea, maybe you even have a prototype, uh, we can help you in, uh, identify and enhance your superpowers. 